no clothes. My imagine, like go young, be wagon, or the rover. What's up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just gonna be a get ready with me and we're gonna chit chat about college, my advice, answering your questions, etc. So I hope you enjoy this. I don't know if it's like boring or not to you. Um, I thought it was fun to make because I was answering your questions and interacting with you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and let's just get right into it. Um, before I really get into the video, I just wanted to say how much I hate the background of this video. So I'm gonna just be answering some questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. So let me pull those up. Okay, so the first one is what is the hardest part of college? Um so there's like several parts of college that are difficult I wanted to move away since I was in sixth grade um and let me just tell you I really do miss home I don't miss the drama of my hometown I don't miss you know the bad but I miss my family I miss my boyfriend I miss friends um I miss like knowing where everything is. Where's my neck? Necklace is turning my neck green or not, and I can't really see good in the viewfinder right now. So, if my neck is green, just ignore that. But, but again, like that has to do with COVID too, because if it was, you know, normal times, I would be able to go home and visit my family. But right now, I'm not allowed to come home. Um, that's just my school's rules. Um, I know other schools have it differently. Um, I don't know any other school doing it the same way as mine. But, like, I'm not mad about it. It's whatever. It's for the safety of us. So I'm not even mad anymore. But, you know. It definitely is a struggle to like feel alone and then not be able to like go home and like recharge over the weekend like I think once it's normal time and I like have a bad week or I'm like not feeling myself I'll go home and come back and I'll feel better and this time um, you can't do that so it's definitely like a struggle um, yeah one of my notes just deleted and I thought it was the questions and I was gonna freak out um, if you could change just one thing about college as a whole, what would it be? Um, obviously, like, my change right now would be for COVID to be gone and for things to be normal. But also, um, I think another thing I would change is, like, my thoughts before coming here. Because, like, I had, like, this big... You know hope for what was gonna happen here and like that's not what happened um I think I got my hopes up too much and you know I shouldn't have I should have just went with the flow and not had any expectations but I definitely did and I think that made it ultimately worse for me because I had all these expectations of friends and fitting in and like doing normal stuff and I like forgot to realize that it's college like yes people are gonna go out and party and that's just not my thing I partied when I was younger and I just don't feel the need to do that anymore um I don't know it's just not fun for me anymore what change about college is my expectations before coming here I guess and I don't know if that makes any sense with the question but that's just how I feel. Next question is, do you think advisors help the whole college process? Yes and no. And also I obviously only have had my advisor, so I can't speak for everyone else's. One thing I will say is you need to reach out to your advisor for help and they will help you. But if you just like don't reach out, you're not gonna get, you know, the help that you need. So 
my advisor personally has been extremely helpful um i had to drop two classes um well i was in one class and i switched to another one from there that was like a a lower level of the first one and i still was not doing well i just couldn't get the hang of it i definitely needed review i hadn't taken the class since my sophomore year of high school so i was like lost because i really have a bad memory so i felt like i was really like annoying to her because i was like you know hi like i need to drop this class and then like a week later i was like i can't do this one either but i like i you know wrote an email and i was like i really hope i'm not bothering you and then she was like you know what let's set up like a zoom call and let's just like have a little meeting and like let's talk about your feelings about you know your classes and all that so we did and it was great you know she was like you know don't get upset like don't worry about it don't feel like you're um annoying me like this is what i'm here for and i will help you every step of the way i really appreciate that she did that for me and then she also like emailed me and like followed up on it so my advisor personally was a lot of help but i will say that if i didn't reach out she wouldn't have known to help me so like definitely you need to reach out to your advisors for help and then i think you'll have a good experience with them do you think half of college majors are scams to get money or do you think that you end up getting a career that pays off college debt and lets you live comfortably no matter what major you choose if not fully like you know i'm not knowledgeable on all the majors and you know what they can do for you but i will say that some majors you don't need to come to college for them like you don't need to the fuck you don't need to like have that college background for some careers that they have majors for i'm going to speak on criminal justice because <clears throat> that's what i wanted to major in hold on and then i talked to several people like in the actual like criminal justice like field and everything and um they were like listen like don't go to college for criminal justice if you're going to go to college pick a different major to fall back on because criminal justice major does not matter for what i want to become i want to be like an investigator or something along those lines and if i would have done criminal justice it literally would not have helped me at all um somebody without the degree would have been at the same level as me so that hit me hard and i was like i don't want that you know i don't want that for myself and i could have just said i don't want to go to college but i really wanted to go to college it's just something i've always wanted to do i decided to major in psychology with a focus on criminal justice so that I can still take all the classes and know what I want to know, but I'll have a different major to fall back on. I could go to the police academy, become an officer for a few years, and then be moved up to investigator eventually, and I didn't need college. But that's just what I wanted to do. You know, sometimes when I get really depressed and I'm like, you know, is this even worth it? Like, should I have even come to college? I think I made the right decision. Now, if I post a video in like a year and it's like why I dropped out of college, that will be something strange. But at this point, I don't think that I will be leaving anytime soon. I do want to try to graduate early though, like almost a sophomore with my credits. And this is my freshman year, if you didn't know but um i'm already like a sophomore level so i can't talk when i'm doing my mascara sorry i'm just like i'm really like mature for my age and just like i've always wanted to like move on with my life very quickly um in high school i was super excited to get to college now that i'm in college i'm super excited to like finish off and just like start my life so i think that's what i'm gonna do is like definitely um try to do it in like three years um i know a few of my friends want to do that as well so that's definitely like something helpful is there any advice you could give us about college 
so one main piece of advice for you is never expect anything like do not expect like don't have these high expectations you'll get hurt if you expect too much out of other people or if you expect too much out of the college itself like you've got to just like sit back and let things happen if you don't know what major you want to be do not worry about it your freshman year i don't even think you should worry about it your sophomore year i don't know i'm not there yet but don't come into college thinking that you have to know you can go in as undecided i was gonna um, minor in spanish and i'm not going to do that anymore as of right now um because i hadn't taken spanish in years so trying to come here and do it again wasn't working out and i really didn't want to stress myself out any more than i already am like you know i'm a freshman i moved two hours away from home i didn't need that pressure on myself so i just let it go and if it you know if i decide to go back to it i can i think you're gonna major in education and then later on you realize i think i want to do psychology go for it baby like it is your life you are living your life um no one's gonna stop you like are you ending up getting a career that pays off college debt and lets you live comfortably no matter what major you choose some majors and careers are gonna pay a lot more than others and i think you should do your research on your major before you major in it i would say that you know some probably don't pay off the college debt and that you know is gonna have you struggling your in your life so yeah i do think that some of the majors like not worth it but that's just my opinion i don't know i think i look very good in the mirror but the viewfinder is like decent so hopefully when i'm like editing this video i don't like want to puke at my own appearance i was asked about my input on dorming and i would say definitely dorm like don't go get an apartment if you want to save money i think like dorming and paying like the dorming fee and the um like dining fee i think that's less than getting an apartment and having to buy your own food every day um but that's just me like i don't know i haven't done the calculations but i believe that it would be cheaper um i would say definitely look into what dorms um are your options and like go from there like don't just be like you know don't settle for one just because you heard it's cool definitely do your research if you can take a tour um do it i know that right now i don't like i don't know when tours are going to be available again um my school personally has youtube videos um that tour the different places on campus I don't know if other schools do that as well but like definitely plan out your room before coming here like do not wait and like you're scrambling i had my room planned out but i didn't bring enough decorations um i had like a few days to pack for college because i was sick for like a week and like could not like i had no strength to pack so definitely like remember all your decorations remember all like the stuff that you think you're gonna need make lists before coming um like for sure um definitely do your roommate research um like definitely talk to your roommate for like a couple of months before moving here um definitely like definitely watch like other people's videos on how they moved in like watch their move-in vlogs you can watch mine if you want um i'll put a sticker above but watch people's move-in vlogs and definitely like look at the boxes they use to bring stuff the suitcases like stuff like that it will help you um know how to pack when i move home i am going to be bringing a bunch of stuff with me um for my winter break so i'm definitely gonna be like you know repacking and i think i'm definitely gonna be packing in different ways than when i brought stuff here having too many boxes was honestly so ridiculous and definitely like you know do your research before that is pretty much it for this video 
that's pretty much it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed it um i know it wasn't like super interesting but this is just something that i thought would be you know informative and you guys asked me questions so i answered 